Alright everybody, how's it going? It is Mr. Bellamy again. And if you just watch my cup stacking video, uh, you know that the ones that I put on the link uh, of the other people's video are a much better quality than the one that I put out. Uh, but I hope you enjoy mine also. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to show you how you can make your own set of speed stacking cups if you don't have a set to buy. Uh, these are actually going to slide better than solo cups, but if that's what you have, that's what you have. So um, I don't necessarily have, well, I do now, but before I was a PE teacher, didn't have a speed stacking cup uh, of my own. So what you're going to do though, you can use the regular solo cups like this right here, but if you notice they don't have a hole in them, and our speed stacking cups do, the reason that they have a hole in it is so that that way they don't stick together. If you have, if you've ever tried to pull cups apart and you have them stick together in there, they won't come apart sometimes because it gets a little suction in there. You don't want that to happen if you're trying to do a speed stacking cup. So basically what we're gonna do is just take a, if you don't have speed stacking cups, take a solo cup or a plastic cup. I wouldn't use styrofoam, but they might work, but you're gonna get a little more static and stuff with those. Uh, I would use a plastic solo cup. And you're just gonna take a drill. If you don't have a drill bit, like I don't have a drill bit, um, but I do have a screw here at school. So I'm just gonna take a screw and my drill. Make sure you have your parents around you when you're doing this. Uh, don't use power tools without them uh, knowing for sure. Um, and you're just going to drill a hole in it. Now what I would honestly do is instead of doing each one individually, I would put them in a group and then that way I'm drilling all six of them or because really you're going to want you're going to want 12 cups if you want to do, do it right and so I'm going to put three holes in it just because that's what they have in the cup stacking world if you only have one hole in it then you're still going to have a little bit of issue with your cups uh, unless you have a big hole that allows the air to go in and out. If you have two holes in the sides, the one in, as you're pushing down, even if one side gets clogged, the air is going to be able to force up out of the other side. So if you only have one hole, all the air has got to force up in through there. So now my cup will, will slide on and off easier and I don't have to worry about it. Don't accidentally try to drink out of it or else you're going to get a mess. But now you have a set of cup stack, cups that you can use for your home stacking pleasure and you didn't spend a whole lot of money to make it there you go tip of the day have fun and enjoy I know I need to shut this off but it's way over there where I gotta hit the power button so I'm getting there I'm getting there